Here today we're going to do something that has been long overdue. I've been sharing with you on the videos over the past few months the state of my pedal board. It's definitely the uh, least aesthetically pleasing that it's ever, ever looked in probably the last 15 years. And that's because I've been decluttering my pedal board over the past few months, selling quite a few of my pedals and making sure that what's left on my pedal board is the stuff that I know really well that I'm going to use that sounds fantastic. If you'd like to see any more content around music creation or production, uh, any pedal demos or gear demos or anything just to do with old and R band music, then uh, then hit that subscribe button. Take a look at the uh, pedal board as it is now. So it's roughly the pedal order that I want, uh, but yeah, just an absolute mess. This thing's like falling off, There's cables going everywhere. Yeah, so this is where all the cables and stuff are. So we're going to need to get in there. I'm going to need some of these. And yeah, yeah, so we've got Velcro, cables, need cable ties. There we go. The idea is that we go from my guitar signal into my Ernie Ball volume tuner pedal, out of the Ernie Ball volume tuner pedal into my Boss NS2 noise suppressor. That goes into the input, comes out of the input, across into my uh, exotic SP compressor, out of the SP compressor into the Earthquaker devices Westwood for the first part of my gain stage. From there, over into the hoof, by Earthquaker Devices, which is my fuzz part of my gain stage, out of the hoof into the Strymon Iridium, which is my ab uh, and, and cab simulator. And I come back out of the Iridium all the way back into the noise suppressor into the return and then go from the noise suppressor output into the Strymon El Capistan for this first part of my modulation. That's in mono, then it goes over into the microcosm which then becomes stereo out of the microcosm, up into the Strymon timeline, stereo again into my big sky for my reverb, and then out of my big sky, in stereo into my door. First thing that I've got to do is sort out this volume pedal because it's got little feet on it, which means when you lay it on your pedal board, uh, you're not getting it flat, which means it's not going to stick to your board when you apply your tape to it. So I get the old screwdriver. I'm going to go at taking these off. And that will sit nicely now. So I suppose just quickly talk about, uh, about this. This is the Velcro. It goes smooth side down. So if you take your pedals off, and put them on any hard surfaces it doesn't scratch them and get this from any sort of like craft store or you know if you have to amazon etc um pretty cheap and i just use this cut it to size apply it to the bottom of the pedal and then put the pedal on the board so i've already got some of the, the hard side down so i'm going to put some soft side down now on the pedal go three strips of velcro to match the gaps here boards already taped up and let's go that's not going anywhere So this is not moving now, so the first stage of happiness. So the pedals are all secure on the top of the, of the pedal board. Uh, the next stage is cabling and then power. So let's start with cabling. Now we're at a very delicate phase of the pedal board boot. So we're at the stage where um, we've got to sort out cable lengths and get the right cables to be sort of semi-hidden without being too obsessional about it because I'm not cutting and soldering. This has all got to be done from the cables that I've either built in the past or that I've just bought in um, and are kind of set lengths. So now 
we're gonna look into come out of the hot microcosm now in stereo into the timeline in stereo. So we need two cables into there, two cables out of the timeline into the big sky. So back in the day, that, all of this, would have absolutely freaked me out. But I don't care anymore really. And a bit of cabling, uh, cable ties, and it'll look okay. <sighs> okay, so we're literally like an hour and a half into this now, I think. So the cabling is all sorted on the pedals. They're all connected as they should be. Uh, one thing that you get to find out in about half an hour or so is if the cables all work. Uh, first and foremost, they work. Are there any sound interference? Anything dodgy that I need to switch them out for? Touch wood, fingers crossed, there isn't. The next stage is the power. So different pedals have different power requirements. The majority of pedals these days are sort of nine volts. Some of these are 12, some more. Okay, so a Voodoo Labs power here. Two of these units, loads of cabling, some ties in there. I don't think I'm gonna to need to use all these, um, but I've got to make sure that they're all going into the right pedals. So let's play around with that. So first things first, uh, let's turn the power on and then I can use the cables, attach them to the pedals and we'll see if they're working or not. Yeah, yeah, that's on. Yeah. So I've got to get this down to the iridium. So we're going to go through tiny little hole that I've got at the back and um, I'm gonna lift the board up if you can see that just there I'm gonna slide it all the way down to the front up this little gap here and then into the iridium so now we get to plug the guitar in and, uh, and let's see if it actually works let's see if we get any noise coming out So there we go, that's why you don't get too excited when you get your pedal board to the stage of velcroing everything down, getting your powers in and your cables in because nearly every time I've ever done a bit of surgery on pedal board, that has happened. So there's something wrong. I know my power adapters are all good because they're tried and tested. Uh, it's something in my cabling. So I'm not gonna show you what I do now. I'll save that for another video, but I'm just gonna get that bit sorted and we'll go again. Okay, so changed a few things around. Let's try again. What we're done. Uh, so let's go stereo. Okay, so everything is connected. We've got power, we've got cables that work, which is nice. Um, nothing too messy, really, apart from all this stuff here. Uh, yeah, I need to tidy all this up, so I'm going to flip the ball over and let's just do a bit of maintenance there. much tidier, much neater. That's all I wanted to do for today, just build the board, get everything down and firm and secure, working and fairly neat and tidy. So keep your eye out for future videos. I'm gonna walk you through the signal chain. Uh, there'll be some demos of me showing you some different sounds. I'm gonna explain why I've got three different loopers on the board and how they all work and connect into each other. Thank you for watching. If you like anything that you see or hear, then check us out, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video, bye.